can't sing or dance while I'm videoing. I was going to sing another outfit, another day, another day, another outfit. I think I'm going completely mad. I'm going to be very happy when this lockdown's finished so that I don't have to keep doing outfits every day because it is now becoming quite tiring and intrusive. But um, I know you love it. So here's a spin on a very old one, right? Same old black favorite luxe sweaty Betty leggings. Just love these and they're really warm. Favorite new shiny shoes from Russell and Bromley. Very old little cardigan cashmere from Bowdoin. And an even older, can you hear Jack snoring? That's Jack snoring. Um, even older little funky top from Whistles. I mean, like 20 years ago. How cool is this? It looks really vintagey, doesn't it? A little bit chilly for this weather. Oh, and one of my yellow head scarves. A little bit chilly, so we're doing the little 50s vibe thing again. I hope this is giving you ideas. Do let me know if this is giving you ideas. I need to be running out of clothes soon. Definitely winter clothes. I must put, I must remember to put the autumn haul link below. So for those who haven't seen it, you can see everything I've bought for winter, which I haven't worn yet because I haven't been out anywhere. Right, that's it. See you with the next one. Just popping in to say that, you know I'm going mad dressing up for lockdown, but I've even taken it to new heights with my pyjamas. Fortunately, I bought these just before this lockdown from Jigsaw, and I think they're rather nice, aren't they? I love them. They just look a little bit more swanky than my normal bed gear. Um, so just to show that I do sometimes stay in PJs all day, uh, this was shot on a Sunday and it was pouring all day and howling winds. So yes, I do, but I'm still making the effort. Although I have absolutely no makeup on and my hair badly needs some work done on it. Jack's in. And you, oh, can see all of me. Um, but I really wanted to show you, you're never too old to wear a mini skirt. I got this from my lovely friend who runs a little boutique in Rottingdean, for those who live in England. Um, and I want to show you, this is the end of the wardrobe. Right, let me just put you up and then you can see the rest. Ooh, look at that stomach. Really must lose weight before Christmas. So I can eat. There you go. How's that? Um, so yes, I just wanted to, my dear friend Ellis gave me this beautiful little leather skirt. Look at the details. It's got little pretend pockets there. It's just a gorgeous design. Um, I'm so lucky. And this lovely shirt was from gifted to me by Next last year when I was doing makeup video for them. They were, well, how nice is this shirt and how terribly vintage it looks. And these are the specs from Boots. And I'm just wearing the same black and white scarf because I've got lots of outfits that go with this little skirt. And of course, I'm in thick tights. Never would you see me without thick tights um, at this time of the year with a short skirt, ever with a short skirt on. Um, so, on with the next. I can get about four different looks out of this and I kept the best till last because that's it. Other than one grey netted skirt, oops, just th thrown a ring off, um, that has a very nice little jumper that goes with it. There's the still. Um, that's all I've got left. You have now seen, apart from the autumn haul, link will be down there. Um, you have now seen absolutely everything in my wardrobe. So not bad, eh, for dress up for lockdown. Right, remember the gold shirt? Have a close look. This is linen, that's why it's a bit creased, but Look how lovely it looks. I think it looks much better with this little skirt than it did with the long one in 
last week, week before's vlog. Um, how nice is this for a little evening out? Well, it's not that I can meet anyone for an evening out, even though we're in tier two. I, I can only meet my bubble, one other person, that's it. Um, so, what do you think? Oh, I'll get closer. I think you've seen this before. It's a little vintage shirt. Actually, people always love it when I wear it. I wear it with those black leather look pants as well. But I would wear this definitely around the house. Um, definitely with the heating on. Um, but yeah, that's a nice little outfit, isn't it? Nearly there, one more. Whoa, look at this then. Actually, I think this is one of the best. Don't you? I'd need a very um, cold house <laughs> to be wearing this. You know I'm not much of a sweater gal. Um, but this was from, get close so you can have a look, Zara. Um, and I just love it. It's just a nice sloppy joe, isn't it? Dark at three o'clock again, so I can't wear glasses. Anyway, ooh. I'm just doing a bit of photography because it's tea time and because I can. Um, I'm sorry I haven't been dressing up. I have to be honest, I haven't been dressing up for a few days. Um, there's so much going on in the background. I'm doing something to help the shelter charity for the homeless. So I've had to do photography of Jack and of me. So there's a lot going on and um, I haven't even had time for exercise. I don't know where the hours go, but we're nearly actually at the end of my winter wardrobe, apart from the autumn haul, which I'll put the link below again, because that's all the new clothes, but we are now on the very old clothes. We're still in lockdown. Um, I probably wouldn't wear this at home, but I had to show it to you. Look what I'm wearing it with, my Doc Martens. I think it looks great with Doc Martens, can you see? And the pink petticoat. Woohoo! I'll do a cutaway for you. They're so pretty. Um, yes, it's got cold enough to not wear, well, not wear, have bare legs anymore. So I would put these with a pink petticoat if I was going out to lunch. This is a great winter colour, isn't it? It's, I'll put the link below. It's an independent vintage style dress shop they're very big at goodwood every year they do very lovely vintage dresses and i thought you'd quite like to see this it's now three years old and actually thank you again i love trying them all on and seeing i now know those big baggy jeans have got to go i think about two things only that i've shown you i've thought nah don't like that don't like that at all so this i'll definitely keep this is lovely for a lunch out not that I'll be having a birthday lunch, as you... Well, no, in the last video I said I was going to have a birthday lunch. I can't, even when we come out of lockdown, right up to the 23rd of December, we can't meet more than one household at one table in a restaurant. So it's lunches with my bubble from now on, the, the, the friend of mine who's coming for Christmas. So. It's a bit of a bugger, isn't it? Still, it has to be done. Let's get rid of this bloody virus. So that's it, yes. Not my... Oh, and have you noticed, girls, the quiff is making a comeback. So let me know what you think. It seems to be going down very well on Instagram. So I have a couple more outfits. One was my dress that I bought for my 60th birthday party. Can't get into it anymore. <laughs> I've put on weight here. Why did we put on weight here? What's all that about? Lost weight here, put on weight here, but here? It's disgusting. Um, so yes, I haven't felt like huge exercise either. And it's bloody cold now. Anyway, I will show you the Christmas festivities before I finish this video. Um, but there are a couple more outfits to go. Um, and of course we have Monday mindfulness at the end again. So a couple more outfits, and I'm really sorry I skipped a week, but I was just really not dressing up. Sorry, I let myself down, didn't I? I started with such good intentions. 
Hashtag dress up for lockdown. Sometime. So let's get you a bit closer. So I hope you enjoyed. That's it, girls. We have done over the last four weeks of lockdown. Oh, by the time you see this lockdown will be over. I do apologise, but I know you love a fashion show. Um, so I hope you like, do let me know. I don't think there's anything in this one that um, I would happily get rid of and only a couple in the whole four weeks. So you've helped me um, sort out my wardrobe. I still regret buying that very expensive leather coat, well, leather and fun fair, which is reversible, which I still haven't worn because I love my metallic um, Parker so much. But I'll keep that for, I might get a little trip into London in, if we're allowed, if they don't change the tier between now and Christmas, and then you'll have lots to see. So meanwhile, what else is there to show you? Not a lot. I must, I will do some recipes soon. It's just terribly difficult at the moment because it's getting dark at three o'clock. It's 3.30 now, and it's only because we've had a bright day that I can actually still film. Um, and recipes I tend to do in the afternoon. I sort of never start my afternoon bits till 2.33 and by the time I've finished it's dark. So that's why you've had no recipes. Plus I can't have anyone in to film me doing them, but I will give that a go. Um, and anyway, December the 21st is the shortest day, then they get longer again. See how hard I'm trying to be positive. Um, so I shall leave you with, oh, I know, my Christmas decorations. I've put the tree up. I'm all ready. So when the house is very tidy, well, it is actually at the moment. And when it's dark enough, I shall give you a quick look at my Christmas decorations. And finally, I will leave you with Monday Mindfulness, if you haven't seen it already. On Instagram it's a wee bit longer I might put all of them together so you can really zen out and zone out um, so thank you very much for watching and I will see you very soon as soon as I possibly can of course with lockdown over I may be going out a great deal more which means oh, mind you I'll be able to film more um, yes, I will do my best to make it as weekly as I can. I'm really sorry I missed the week, but I had to concentrate on the blog. And if you haven't seen it, links below. Everything you might need will be below. Um, so thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for commenting. And I'll see you very soon.